So we've already created the uh, animation which captures the rocking motion from side to side. Where we did that by animating uh, the tumble in and the tumble out bone in an action. Uh, now we want to uh, play that action back on these two bones using a foot tumble control. I'll show you how that's going to look in the finished file here. Um, it looks like this bone. So when I uh, pull in, it rotates in. When I pull out, it rotates out by playing the uh, animation on these two bones. So first, we're going to need to create that um, that control bone. Uh, and do that by pressing Tab into Edit Mode and Shift D to duplicate this other control bone, which is the control for the foot roll. And uh, first thing to do is to press N and uh, rename this control to Foot Tumble in the Item section here of the Properties panel. Now. Uh, well, currently it can only be moved up and down uh, because this one could only be moved up and down. Uh, the uh, transfer, tr the translate um, channels have been locked, but we want to move it in the x axis instead of the y axis. So we'll come to the transform section here, then lock x and lock y. So we only, only want y to be able to move. Um, now the uh, limit location constraint which has been placed on this one on this bone was copied across to this bone and here it is in the bone constraints panel uh, we do want to keep uh, a limit location on this but we don't want to limit the the y location anymore because that's already been locked we just want to limit the x location so I'll click check, uh, click on those and then uh, set the minimum to minus 0.1 blender units and the maximum to 0.1 blender units and we do want the full transform checked as it is and uh, we do want it to be evaluated in local space so um, uh, now if we pull this back and forth we can only move it uh, plus or minus 0.1 blender units so that's that's all great that's all set up fine so I can hide this panel now by pressing in but the uh, representation of this bone is an up and down arrow uh, when we really want it to be a side to side arrow so we need to create a new representation for this so we'll go to the, layer, the scene layer that has the representation meshes on it and uh, here's the arrow and, uh, I'm going to shift D to duplicate that so I'll just move it out a little bit then the uh, first thing I'm going to do is rename it by pressing N and then uh, coming down to the item panel uh, the item section changing it to widget arrows underscore 90 to signify that it's going to be rotated by 90 degrees and I'm just going to hide that um, I'm going to tab into edit mode and uh, if I try to rotate now, because I have the normal rotation, it'll try and rotate around the vertex normal, which does kind of weird stuff. So uh, we need the global orientation, basically, and then we can rotate that 90 degrees very easily, holding down control to lock the rotation to increments. And if I tab out, oop, if I tab out, and then go to the uh, scene layer that has our rig on it, um, and then select this bone, and uh, come to its bone panel and then scroll down to the bottom where the display section is I can change the representation and see the custom shape I'm going to change the representation from the widget arrows to widget arrows 90 and hopefully yeah it's um it's uh, nicely oriented orientated in the right direction so now we need to make it so that the um, uh, foot tumble action is played back on these two bones when this bone is moved from side to side and we'll do that by applying uh, an action constraint on uh, both of these two bones uh, so we'll select the inside bone first and come to the act to the constraint the bone constraints panel and choose add constraint and we'll add an action constraint now the target that's the thing which drives this constraint and that's going to be this bone here the foot tumble bone so we'll come back to the uh, constraint here and choose the the, the target, the um, the foot tumble bone. It's, it's within the object named armature. So we select the armature, and then the specific bone was called uh, foot tumble. We type that in there, and uh, that's okay. Now the action was called foot tumble, and uh, we want the x location of this foot tumble bone to be driving the action constraint. So that's set as it should be. Uh, now the action uh, began on frame 1 and ended on frame 21 
you might remember from the previous tutorial. Um, now that this has already started to play the action back on uh, this um, tumble in bone, but it's playing the wrong section back because the target range isn't set yet. The target range is the uh, amount of distance that this uh, controlling bone um, travels as it plays back the action constraint, uh, or as it plays back the action on this bone. So we want to set the minimum to, uh, or it should be minus 0.1 blender units and the maximum should be 0.1 blender units and we do need this to be evaluated in local space not world space so now it's in local space and it's come back to the right position and if I pull in on this control hopefully yeah uh, it plays the uh, action back on the uh, tumble in bone um, we need to set it so that when I pull it the, the tumble bone the foot tumble bone uh, in the other direction that uh, it plays the action back on the tumble out bone as well. So uh, we're going to add another action constraint to this time to the tumble out bone. We're going to the bone constraints panel, add constraint, action constraint. The target is uh, the object is the armature, and within the armature object, it is the uh, foot tumble bone. And uh, the name of the action is foot tumble. And we still want the location, the x location of the foot tumble control bone to be driving this constraint. The action began on frame 1 and ended, and ended on frame 21 and we want the uh, range of the control bone to be from minus 0.1 up to 0.1 and we need it to be evaluated in local space. And now when I select the uh, foot tumble control pull out it rotates out around the um, outside edge of the foot by playing the uh, foot tumble action back on the uh, tumble out um, bone here. So that works exactly as it should and that's our foot tumble control set up perfectly. All we need to do now to tidy up the rig is just to go to the, um, the armature panel here and hide the mechanism bones by clicking on the first layer and uh, that's that's it. Uh, or I can go to the normal orientation to get the proper rotation orientation for these bones here. And uh, the um, we can set up all of these controls and still have the foot tumble control work nicely to tumble the foot around the uh, either edge of the foot. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you join me in uh, some future tutorials as well. See you later.